all right what's up with the youtube fam and i'm back again with another video and listen man before we even move forward into the situation man i want to tell everybody out there that i hope y'all having a good day and i hope that everything is going y'all way during y'all day but other than that let's go ahead and get into the subject matter so basically long story short man i got some updates on the whole situation that took place with pdd and cassie and stuff like that and um yeah man it's just crazy and i'm here to tell y'all straight up that i don't have a dog in this fight i can't pick no side in this without having bona fide actual you know evidence on the whole situation and everything that i am sending this video from beginning to the end is all allegedly you know but basically and some of the things that i'm going to cover is factual though so let's go ahead and get into it now listen we already know we've been hearing about pdd for decades from having parties from dealing with other men all type of different allegations about this man's sexuality now i have seen some things that were questionable myself over the time you feel me so i'm not gonna lie and act like i don't know what the hell everybody talking about but these allegations are very very heavy and being a black man you know we we already got so much going against us but i do want to say this right here pd got some type of bad juju it's something on him right now that just really ain't good from tupac murder to this situation right here it's just so much to unpack with this man you know and i feel like that whoever around him right now should separate before it get a little bit worse you know and it's just my personal opinion on this whole situation not saying that he's guilty for anything but you know like I said before, these are heavy allegations, but basically, long story short, his team has responded to the allegations. The team has just basically stated that she's trying to blackmail him, saying she's lying, she wants a certain dollar amount, and sources have said certain things about him trying to pay her off just because he didn't want her to release a book, basically just diminishing his whole character. Now, I feel like that I don't give a damn what nobody do. If I didn't do nothing, I'm not going to pay you nothing or none of that shit. Just go ahead and do what you're going to do because... You know, going through all of this with somebody can be very draining. Just, but just my character alone won't allow that to happen. You know, I'm not just, I'm just not finna go ahead and settle out with you over no allegations like this. We finna have to take this all the way, you know, as far as we can take it. But yeah, they were saying that, um, you know, she was finna release a book that was gonna be, you know, very detrimental to his career and things like that. And you know, it is also stated that he was making her do things with other men. You know, forcing itself on her trying to take it consistently i mean it's just a whole bunch of allegations that's very 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 sickening and some of the things that i did read in uh some of the paperwork is just foul in my opinion but uh like i said before i don't want to pick no side in this but i am going to say this that i feel like that if he is you know found guilty and they have proper evidence on this whole situation they need to go ahead and give him the maximum time you know but uh yeah man they said that she just needed one witness to get this case rolling and she got plenty of those i'm pretty sure even kid Cuddy came out and said some things about p diddy blowing his car up or something like that it's just a whole bunch of stuff but i do have some video footage of the updates and things like that and certain things that were said about this whole situation i do want to know your thoughts and opinions on this also do y'all feel like that he really did it or do y'all feel like it's some truth to it not everything is 100 percent true i just want to know your thoughts and opinions on this i told y'all what i had to say so far but we will talk about it a little bit more during this video but let me know y'all initial thoughts on this whole situation let's go ahead and get into it though really really serious first of all this is a civil case it's filed in federal court in new york the district court of the southern district of new york and it's under the adult survivors act which is just about to expire but allows someone that has allegations of this nature far in the past to bring this civil action for monetary damages. That is the justice at this point. But this young woman at the time, her name was Cassie Ventura, it was 2005, she was 19 years old and she met and became the girlfriend and employee, she alleges, of Sean Diddy Combs of his mega record label. She was a singer herself, but she goes on to say that during this time, that she was a, she was a part of the cycle of violence, physical and sexual abuse. There was uncontrollable rage. Some of the specifics she says, she says that she was in her own home when she tried to leave him, that she was often beaten, kicked, punched, knocked on, resulting in bruises and burst lips, black eyes and bleeding. That he blew up a man's car at one point when he thought that that man was interested in her. He that he introduced her to a lifestyle of excessive alcohol, substance abuse, and required her to produce illicit prescriptions to satisfy his own addictions. Now, there are always two sides to every story, and his attorney has released a statement to CNN which reads, in part, Mr. Combs denies these offenses and outrageous allegations. Mm. For the past six months, Mr. Combs has been subjected to Ms. Ventura's persistent demand of $30 million under the threat of writing a damaging book about their relationship, which was 
unequivocally rejected as blatant blackmail, baseless and outrageous lies aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs' reputation and simply seeking a payday. All right, y'all. So listen, the act that they were just talking about was about to expire within the next week or week and a half, right? And that's why a lot of people are growing like speculations and stuff like that on why she's doing this. They really think it is a payoff that she really was looking for and didn't get it, and she got mad and things like that because she knew certain details about the case. She knew this, she knew that. Man, look, when somebody is harmed or tarnished mentally, physically, and emotionally, you can't tell them how to maneuver in that situation. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people will do their due diligence on certain things if they're planning on coming out on a person. And she has a legal team who is on that as well. So you just got to look at it from all aspects. You just can't put this woman down and try to victim shame her for really just not knowing exactly what's going on in their situation, right? But uh, if he did do half of the, I mean, one of the things in the case... He should be in trouble for that, you know. But like I said before, he got a whole bunch of bad vibes and juju going on. And a lot of people should, you know, get out the way because this this is going to get very, very messy. But, uh, yeah, man, you know, like I said before, I just hate to put that on somebody without having bona fide actual facts. But they said that she needed a witness here. One witness came out yesterday just off the rip. So imagine how many ready to ride with her in this situation. But P. Diddy got a lot of money, though. So, you know, it's a lot of fighting that they finna have to do in this situation. But overall, ultimately, I want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on it. But let's get back into it. It has just been filed. Discovery will begin. But of course, this is filed in New York. They are residents of California. But you've got Epic Records as a defendant, as well as his own record company himself. Mm. Uh, bad boy. Rap mogul Sean Combs, better known as Diddy, is facing serious accusations of Jeez. abuse by his former girlfriend and collaborator. Man. In a new federal lawsuit, Cassandra Ventura, known as Cassie, says Combs physically abused and her during their relationship. Shit. This was filed under a law that allows alleged trans victims to file suits past the statute of limitations for criminal charges. Combs denies the allegations. Errol Burnett has more and a warning. Some of what you're about to hear is very disturbing. For years, music mogul Sean Diddy Combs and singer Cassandra Ventura are one of hip-hop's most recognizable couples. But now Ventura, known to fans as Cassie, says she spent that time, quote, trapped by Mr. Combs in a mm. cycle of abuse, violence, trafficking. She says they met around 2006 when Ventura, then 19, shot to fame with her hit single, Me and You. Combs signed her to his label on a 10 album deal, but according to a civil suit Ventura filed in New York Federal Court Thursday, that's when the abuse began. Ventura claims Combs frequently forced her to consume drugs and alcohol and commit acts with male prostitutes while filming it. Mm. She says he also often stomped on her. The complaint also alleges that in 2018, after she tried to end their relationship, Combs raped her. An attorney for Combs denies the allegations against him and accused Ventura of blackmail, saying, quote, for the past six months, Mr. Combs has been subjected to Miss Ventura's persistent demand of $30 million under the threat of writing a damaging book about their relationship. The damn book. Combs, who has gone by aliases Puff Daddy and P. Diddy, first found Love. success as a producer for rap legend Biggie Smalls, later winning three Grammys. Sean yep. Combs is facing a serious civil case here. Yeah. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman says the case could prove difficult for Combs' legal team so long as Ventura has witnesses and evidence to back up her claims. On the scales of justice, you just need one of the scales to be heavier by a feather. That's a big difference than a criminal case where the burden of proof is so much higher of beyond a reasonable doubt. You hear what she said, right? Now, Ventura's lawyers deny any allegations of blackmail, saying Combs offered her eight figures to silence her. Wow. So this was filed under New York's Adult Survivors Act, which basically right. allowed people to bring cases well past the statute of limitations. The window to do that closes next week, so that might explain See the next week. Thanksgiving. And in the lawsuit, mm. which is extensive, 35 Man. pages, he says she's doing it so that it gives voice to other victims of this type of assault that she alleges. Yeah, I guess we'll have to stay tuned, Errol. Thank you so much. Good to see you.
Yeah, and I will be bringing updates on the situation if I can run across some. But it seems like they're going to try to do him like they did R. Kelly because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a magnitude of people coming out trying to get some money that aren't really victims. And victims are going to come out also who allegedly got something done to them. But like I said before, man, I really don't want to put nobody up under the bus when it comes to a situation like this. But I'm pretty sure that, you know, justice will prevail in this situation because I'm pretty sure that anybody that's out here doing something, that they shouldn't be doing it'll come out one day so you know it is what it is but uh yeah man if you're a victim of anything like this man please get away it's not worth it it's not you know anything that's going to come out of it positive or anything like this so why not just go ahead and get away from it but uh yeah man like i said before man we've been hearing about pdd since forever and these allegations right here <laughs> boy it's gonna be hell to beat these charges man you know but he got enough money to go ahead and fight everybody so you know it'll be you know, televised and everybody will be on it pretty soon when it comes to all the other details. But other than that, man, that's all I got to say. I want to know your thoughts and opinions on this situation. And, uh, yeah, like I said before, man, if you're a victim of this, I'm sorry that it happened to you. And I hope that y'all can prevail in y'all situations. But I'll holler at y'all later, though. All right.